Hey, Veda people, just wanted to take a minute to talk to you uh, about, you know, one of the topics I'd like to talk about a little bit on this vlog is minimalism. And uh, one of the things that I was a little disappointed with uh, myself was I had a rather large wallet. You know, it's I mean, nothing huge, nothing abnormally huge, but it was just really thick and uh, it was kind of clunky to carry around. And so I was looking for alternatives and I found a whole bunch of really neat ones. I found one by a company called Bellroy, but it was like 80 or $90. And it's like, you know, when I say I want to put money into a wallet, I'm not talking about <laughs> investing uh, in a nice piece of leather like that. Um, so I, I saw some that were interesting. They were made out of Tyvek, which is a building wrap material. And, uh, you know, not the music kind of wrap, but the kind that keeps your house from being drafty. And uh, so I was looking around and I found one that I'm pretty happy with. It's uh, pretty nifty. I forget the exact name. It's uh, I'll post a link into it, but it's something basics. Yeah, it says basics, but it's it was made by some other company. I guess they had a Kickstarter a while back. And, uh, but yeah, this is it. It's, uh, I switched from rear pocket carry, pocket carry to uh, front pocket carry. And so, uh, it's just, it's really just a loop of, um, uh, stretchy material elastic here. And, uh, then it has like a strap that goes down and then it has this little leather bit that you can pull out. And, uh, it also has a tiny pocket that can hold a little bit of cash, uh, or a key or a couple of coins, like couple dollar coins or if you're in Canada some toonies two dollar coins um, I mean they're Canadian dollars so not quite but you know um, anyway so yeah this is like everything that was in my wallet before uh, I do have some little Tyvek uh, sleeves that I got somewhere and um, they're you know they can hold a couple of cards so I tend to put cards that I tend to have together like uh, I have health insurance cards and my ID in one, and then I have another card that's got, uh, you know, some, uh, you know, other cards that go together, and uh, and it's pretty nifty. Um, so hang on a second, I'm gonna, I can't really, I haven't practiced doing it one-handed. I don't think I can. Maybe I can. Hey, wow, what do you know? Okay, so uh, you saw it compressed, but uh, essentially you can expand it out, and what it does when it's expanded is it gives you access to um, four of your most, I and mean, you put your most four commonly used cards here. So, like, here's a grocery store um, card, like, advantage card that, you know, they always want you to swipe it right when you're at the at the register. So, you know, you're paying. So I put my credit card there, a little cash, and then I've got my little grocery club card. Uh, and then I've also got, I get gas, and this, using, this is my... There's the mobile station, so sometimes I stop there. Um, and then, uh, you know, you've got just another, uh, you know, an ID pocket because people ask for ID all the time. So it's pretty nifty because you, it's got like five things available, cash, key, whatever. Um, you've got your four more commonly used cards. And then uh, when you're done with it, you just push it back together and it stows all nicely and securely. I haven't had trouble with anything coming out of this, including the cash. This is just one bill folded. I, uh, I had a couple of bills folded. So anyway, uh, the neat thing about this was it was only 20 bucks, and um, they were 20 bucks on the company's website, but they also had them uh, available for 20 bucks on Amazon. And uh, even though I'm pretty used to Amazon Prime shipping, uh, they shipped this thing in... Uh, like record time. I think it might have been like one day shipping. I'm here in Ohio, so maybe I'm really near a distribution center, but it, it was like I ordered two things that were both prime shipping on, at the same time. And uh, one, uh, you know, one of them was actually a bottle of soldering flux. But uh, anyway, I ordered two things at the same exact time, same order, and this wallet, I think, came a day earlier. And it, like I immediately got, like, you know, almost immediately got my, you know, your order has been placed and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, I thought that was pretty impressive that they seem to have found some way to improve on prime shipping. So it's 20 bucks. I mean, it's, you know, the cost of this bill here 
and you could have one of these. And if you have even fewer cards, see a lot of my cards, I'm switching to uh, NFC payment or uh, I've scanned uh, loyalty cards in an app. Um, so I've got a Windows phone. There's a NFC payment app uh, and there are there's a loyalty card app which scans barcodes and you, you take a picture of the card face and it also has the numbers on it and everything that tends to just kind of confuse most store clerks you know, they don't really like they don't understand that the card has a number and like the the user interface that they're given doesn't let them type in the card number they, they want either a phone number or to scan a barcode so if some of the cards they have their own weird barcode standard or whatever and it doesn't work with them so uh, anyway but i've tried to slim down my wallet already by switching to uh that for you know for you know there are so many cards you know for various stores or whatever or gift cards and uh you know i don't go to them all the time uh which is i guess i shouldn't have a frequent shopper card if i don't go there all the time but some places they just kind of make it uh, a sucky deal if you go there and you don't have uh, their deal card. So anyway, um, I've tried to minimize as much as possible. And these are for now the the last remaining ones. You know, it's mostly lots of IDs. And I mean, it's stuff that should be available via NFC payment or something like that. In fact, I, I know I'm probably, you know, my security expert friends are probably going to have some complaints about it. But I wish that I could... Uh, take my I, my government issued ID which you you have to have anyway I mean I drive a car so you have to have that and I wish I could just kind of um, attach other things to it um, so like for example I could just show my ID and uh, swipe it and then it would say which of your credit cards do you want to use and of course it's a government issued ID so if someone fraudulently um, you know makes one and says it's me then you know there are already laws against doing that that are stiffer than seemingly than the, the credit card fraud laws and stuff like that so it would have that advantage um but then you could also uh you know i so you could go and say like oh this is you know you'd, you'd swipe it and it would say which of your credit card accounts do you want this to go off of or would you want a default one like every time you swipe it or stick it in a card reader or whatever it would say it would kind of default to one or you could switch and pay via other methods so anyway i think that's probably a ways out um and then you could also have other attributes so you could have one id and then it would say oh you have passed the test for concealed handguns so you can carry concealed handguns or you are a truck driver so you can drive 18 wheelers or you can drive school buses i mean all these things would just be on one id and then it would also be kind of dynamic. I mean, I mean, they print them off in like, takes a couple minutes. So if you change, like if you go and you get certified in something, you just go and you can pay for a new piece of plastic. It should be like five bucks or something. And, uh, and then you can have it shown on there. Um, if you lose a certification, then they would just make a rule that you have to turn it in um, I know when it comes to concealed handgun uh, licenses in the state of Ohio, if you go and you break a law that prohibits you from having a license to carry a concealed handgun, then it's the job of the sheriff to go out and find you and take your little plastic ID away from you so that you can't tell people, hey, look, I have this ID that means I passed the test and background checks and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, they already have these things in place. Um, so I would just kind of like them to be a little bit... I mean, we're gonna, it might as well be consolidated anyway. Um, I'd like it if it were through an NFC option. Um, but anyway, it seems like the state's really far behind. I've not seen any near field communication, state IDs, you know, I've, I'm mostly in Ohio, but uh, you'd think I might've heard of something like that if it were out there. But anyway, I'd like something a little more dynamic and then I could just have one card or no card and uh, you know, it just make for a slimmer wallet. I realize there could be other concerns. So anyway, that's that. Well, I mean, I prefer no IDs, but, uh, or, or privately issued IDs, you know, you could go and get like a private company 
to go and vouch for who you are, do background checks, all that kind of stuff, then you wouldn't really need a government ID to do it. You could have like a VeriSign card. You know, VeriSign is already a company that goes and issues digital IDs to people. You could just go and have them issue a plastic ID and just have more stringent certifications of who you are than the actual government does, and then it would it should do the same trick. So anyway, there are lots of different ways to solve this problem. But I just wanted to show you that after looking around for a whole bunch of minimalist wallets and slimming down my wallets, I was able to get all the ones in my pocket down into this little tiny package here that um, I can now carry in the front pocket, which I've heard some people say is, I don't know, better. I've never been pickpocketed, but and I've never lost my wallet. Uh, I've had, I've come close. Some of my pants, they were, for a while there, they would, my wallet would fall out when I sat on certain chairs. That was frustrating, but I got rid of those pants. So anyway, I just think these are really awesome wallets. And so I'm going to provide a link below and I've been carrying it for a couple of days now and it seems to work perfectly, perfectly well, super cheap. I like that it's cheap, minimal and works well. So I think the people who made it deserve a little more business though this isn't sponsored or anything of course not because i i mean look i have like no followers so it's, it'd be really stupid to sponsor me but just wanted to share so anyway uh if i actually have some interesting things coming up uh i found I, in my in april i did a veda video and i they were talking about uh old technology that you loved and i found a the docking station for a pda that i had and uh it was freaking awesome and i was cleaning the house sometime like a month or so ago and i actually found the pda and also there's a keyboard that goes with it so i plan on doing a one of you know a couple days ago i did a really neat video on how to um i think it was really neat and useful on how to turn your pc into a, a cd toaster so that's like you just take a cd you have and you pop it in the CD-ROM drive, and you close it, and then you don't touch anything, and it automatically rips everything to the cloud, and then it just, when it's done, it just pops open the CD drawer and says, hey, you know, feed me, you know, give me another one. And um, so it's kind of like a toaster as to how it operates. You don't have to, you just, when something pops out, you take it out and put a new one in and stick it in. And you can really rip through a lot of CDs really quickly quickly through this but the advantage is that um in my video i talk about how to set it up with uh cloud storage and the groove media player that is free from microsoft for most platforms nowadays um so that really lets you you know that to me that's a pretty awesome little solution there and you know i i don't know you probably have some cds around i have a ton because um but like my uh my brother just bought his wife a CD for her birthday. And I thought that was kind of interesting. So apparently people are still buying CDs. So you might want to have this capability. And uh, I don't know. I just thought it was neat. So anyway, I put together a video like that. And I'm probably going to do a little more in-depth one about this old PDA I found. Because there are a lot of cool things about it that were way ahead of its time. And uh, I'd like to show them to you. And, uh, and they were especially ahead of its time uh, considering what was on the market at that time. This is before the iPhone. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed. I, I kind of wonder what the world would have been like. Uh, they were a little expensive. I think it was like, well, you know, at the time I thought it was expensive. I think it was around five to $600, but nowadays people pay five to $600 for a cell phone and they don't really seem to think a lot about it. I mean, like the iPhones, I don't know what they go for, but they're kind of pricey anyway. If you want to see that kind of thing, and if you liked my CD toaster video, then just subscribe and you'll see more of that stuff. And otherwise, if you don't like it, or if you didn't like this video, or if there's something you think I could improve, like going on for 15 minutes, mostly about not the minimalist wallet that I was talking about, then please comment and then I'll know what to do better next time. So anyway, that's it for me tonight. And uh, you have a good day.